What's that guy with the bald wife's name? Oh, the bald wife. Yeah, the guy with the the guy with the bald wife thinks he's a bad boy. You ain't a bad boy. I'm a bad boy for life. Yeah, I'm a real. You know? Do you know this? This is actually your wife has hair. Your girls have hair. My girls have hair. So do mine. And I haven't got a single woman whose hair falls out. My girls have hair, and they don't cheat on me. That is true. They don't. So I'm clearly a more certified G than Will Smith. I don't know if you know this, but they've actually contacted me to host the next next Oscars. Yeah, no, I did know that. Yeah, I got the letter in the in the mail. There's been, I don't know if the people out there know what would happen if like I made a joke about his wife and he tried to get fresh. I could I could show you all. No, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh it was beautiful. <sighs> I don't even know what it was. I know, even you haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. What is it? Bro, it's a comp a live. I'm the best producer ever. This shouldn't be happening to me. You, oh, you're clearly not that talented. No, clearly you got your fucking shirt on again. Just kidding. I'm getting sick of this, Tristan. You're holding so, me back. So Will Smith. You're holding me back. The funniest thing about the Will Smith thing to me is this. Before you get on to all the reasons of why he's a cuckold and why his wife has no hair and why she cheats, let me just say, does anyone remember? It takes. This is a mixed race podcast, by the way. So it takes a mixed race podcast to bring this up. Does anyone remember Oscars too white trending? Oh, there's not enough black people nominated at the Oscars. There's not enough black people at the Oscars. Oscars too white. Oscars too white. You let a black guy host, and you let a black guy get nominated for an award, and he goes up and embarrasses black people. Like, why would you do that? At something like the Oscars that people complain there weren't enough black people at. You are a famous black person, yeah, and Smith. you slap another black man. No, no, no. Will Smith. The real problem with Will Smith. Well, I know. Well, you know the real problems. Yeah, the real problem with Will Smith is that he is extremely frustrated that he's become a laughing stock. And really, who he wants to slap is his wife. Yeah, he'd love to slap her wife. He'd wife. love to beat her up. <sighs> slap that bald head. Nice big handprint on top. Stop, stop sucking him off. Around the top of her bald ass head. Mm. I got more hair than her. But he can't. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But he can't. Woo! He can't. I just made an alopecia joke. Ooh! Oh, Andrew made fun of alopecia. Woo-hoo! Come do something. Come do something. I ain't afraid of none of you. I want your blood clot. I'm a bad man. Big Will. He's six foot one. Big Will. You Short. Ain't, you ain't big. Short. They don't want to slap. I'll slap. I got big hands. Mm. They don't want. Wait. Slap the cuck off his face. <laughs> <laughs> the one oh. slap. You're not ready for me. So let me just explain. If anyone. This week's homework, actually, I'm going to set you a new homework assignment before I get to the new the, the homework assignment of last week. There is a song that I found a few days ago called Entanglements, written by the guy who banged Will Smith's wife and Rick Ross. And there's about 10 references to her. This girl's got me caught up in the Matrix because she's been in the Matrix movies. There's like 10 references to her in the song. It's about, yeah, I've been in that man's house and in his car sleeping with his wife. He doesn't know a whole song with 53 million views about how he fucked Will Smith's wife. But Chris Rock says something about her hair. Chris Rock is also much smaller than you. And I think that other guy who is banging your wife might, might have just beaten your ass. So you let him go with the 53 million view song about fucking your wife. But some dude makes a, makes a joke about a haircut and you want to be a tough guy because he's short. Yeah, Will Smith's a loser. And the reason he's a loser. Stone cold stone loser. loser. Because he, he super wants to hit his wife. He can't do that. So he picks on Chris Rock, which, listen, they're both comedians from the same kind of genre of movies from the same era and time. They probably knew each other personally. That's why he wasn't scared of Chris Rock. He knows Chris Rock ain't about it. He knew Chris Rock wasn't going to throw back. And on top of all of that, Chris Rock made a bald joke. Listen, Chris Rock had better material. Oh, he had better material. He could have come in much harder. He went in very, very softly, Will. Very. Trust me, I would have made Unlike that guy who fucked your wife. Exactly. Who no doubt did not go in. Hard. Very softly. Hard. So because he went soft, you're going to get up there and be a, a tough guy. Shut up, bad 